Hello everyone, this is Mini Yoda here and welcome back once again to another episode of Galarians. This is going to be part 4. And we're going to continue from last time if you remember. We are trying to escape from Michelangelo Hospital from the clutches of the evil Clinic Chief Lem who's been experimenting on us. And out of coincidence we're actually in his office and we're looking at some of his documents that he has on this particular one we find out a little bit about the program that he's been developing we know that our father and his friend uh, which would be uh, Dr. Steiner and Dr. Pascali were developing a program and as you see clinic chief Lem seems obsessed with this program and calling it the master of creation uh, you know, a program that has to be bowed down to, the program that will become the new god and will end humankind. So, you know, he's kind of crazy. And that's why we're a bit worried, because we don't know what he's going to do to us. Rian! Ah, that voice again. Lilia? Is it Lilia? They're coming to get me. Lilia, where are you? Help me, Rian. Please hurry. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm gonna- I'm coming to get you. You just have to be a little bit patient, because I, I can't escape where I am yet. So once we do that, then we'll be able to, you know, go after Lilia and save her from whatever danger she's in. We don't know where she is, of course, but we do know that, of course, we have telep uh, telepathic abilities and we can hear her thoughts. There's a sort of connection, I guess, between the two of us, which we're gonna find out later, of course. So... Last time we gathered three of the statues of the animals that we needed. Now we were missing the last one. Now that we have collected all four of them, we have to go to this conference room. And as you see, there's four statues. You can come here before, if you want. But it's kind of pointless because the door is locked and also you can't really do anything without the statue. So that's why I decided to go the other way instead, to the east wing of the hospital pretty much. And then you have to collect all of the statues and then put them in a specific order. You can do a, a, a scan on this if you want by pressing triangle to find out the right order. It will tell you what animal you have to put in there. But if you remember, there was a room that we checked last time that would tell you what the order was. And that would be what we're trying right now, which is snake, eagle, wolf, and then finally monkey. Of course, once you have all of the statues ready, come to this room, place them in that specific order. And this door that we just saw will become available to us. Now, this is a pretty straightforward area. All you have to do is pretty much as you see on the map. All you have to do is just walk in a straight pattern to the end of the hallway. We've pretty much explored the entirety of the hospital by now. We just have to get to the end pretty much. Uh, this, uh, you don't want to fight these robots in a tight... You're in tight quarters like that. Try to be as fast as you can. Don't give them a chance to, to attack you. If you remember from last time we fought one of them. And then everything else I believe we've avoided. Because it's really not worth... Uh, you know, fighting them. Especially if you're fighting multiple... Enemies. So you kind of have to... Oh my god. I think it's going to do more damage than I... Oh my god. I used my skip before. Hoping that I, that wouldn't happen. Uh, but I'm not, I, I just got a skip, but I'm not going to use it because I think it's going to be kind of a waste. Maybe I, I, I might get hit again uh, by the boss or by any more enemies. So, you know, just to make sure. I think I'm going to save my skip for later. So this room is a little bit peculiar. There's a couple of items here that you can get. A recovery capsule and also a red at the end, at the other corner of this room. But there's a little bit of a, a trick. As you see, there's some glass containers in the middle, which you can examine. And we're actually gonna check them in a little bit. But basically what happens is that you see that there are no enemies here. But if you interact with them with your telekinesis, you can see that there's a few enemies in here. Some like skinned alive enemies. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna encounter these things, which you can fight if you want, but there's nothing in this room that we need anymore, so that's why I would recommend get the items and then get the hell out of it. 
or you know if you just wanted to see these enemies you can go ahead and check those containers all right we're almost done with this area how exciting uh, there's a save spot in here if you want to use it. I think we're ready. I actually did a couple of <laughs> practice runs before this. I have never figured out a way to beat this boss without taking a single hit. Technically, you can cheat it. You can use... Um, skip? Uh, not skip, sorry. Short. Uh, basically, you know, charge your AP bar completely. Um, that's a bit ominous. Charge your bar completely. And then after that use short on this boss but because we're being legit we're gonna fight him the real way please spell out your name r i o n the family program is top secret please give the password The family program is top secret. Access forbidden without password. We are last name Steiner. Sex male. Age six. You're a natural, Rion, just as I expected. Dr. Lem? I can't believe how much you've progressed in only a month. Father? Who am I? Albert? And what is the family Steiner. program? Rion, there are many things you are better off not knowing. This is Nalcon. You'll short circuit if I inject you with it. You don't want to die, do you? Return to the isolation ward. No. Michelangelo, Rion, such strength. Ah! So be it. It's the freeze chamber for you! You can fight me, you can fight a Galarian. I mean what? I mean, sorry. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Never mind. So, this is the boss fight of the hospital. Clinic Chief Lem. Uh, he seems, you know, he doesn't seem threatening at all. You can just use red to stun him and kill him pretty easily, actually. It's not a problem whatsoever. Uh, you know, just be very careful, don't get hit or anything. Although you shouldn't have any problems, it's pretty easy. But of course it can't be that easy, can it? Why else would he fight you? I mean, he knows you have powers. Why would he... like, he can barely walk. He wouldn't fight you like that. Uh, you have to be careful when you use skip. Because, you know, it levels you up, but if you get hit, you're gonna lose those bars, so just be very careful. So right now, reminiscent to the other enemy that we've been fighting in this area, he is in reality a robot. Or I don't know if he's that he turned into a robot, or if he is really a robot. I don't, I don't think they ever explained that to you. It seems like he's a real person, he just happens to be, you know, a machine inside. He might have turned himself into something or whatever. So, what I would recommend for this fight is A, you can use short to one-shot him. That will work, just like any of the enemies in the hospital. Or, the legit way, you can just use... He's immune to red, so you have to use Nalcon to kill him. He is going to do a lot of attacks of, you know, those shoulder tackles, which you can dodge, of course. So, just time your attacks very carefully and just be relentless. Attack him over and over. That's the only way that I found out to take the least amount of damage possible. And then after that, you don't have to heal or anything, just go ahead and interact with his body. We need that eye. <laughs> I 
I escaped from Michelangelo Memorial Hospital, knowing nothing but my name. I had found a picture of my family at the hospital. Just when their faces started looking familiar, the memory slipped away, as if I had never known them. What was I doing there? My mind was all cloudy, and I couldn't remember a thing. I was all alone. Since we have a little bit of time, might as well, we can continue on to stage B. If you remember from early on, I mentioned that there's four stages in the game. So we're already a quarter of the way done with it. And this is going to be a mansion, which is basically the house. Your house, the Steiner house. And I would say... Uh, there's gonna be a couple of doors, as you see, one in the middle, uh, which is locked for the time being, one in the left, which leaves you to uh, a kind of like a locked area, you can't do anything in there right now, so you have to go to the right. So that's what I'm doing right now. The first thing that you have to do is that you have to unlock a door in the back entrance. In order to do it, you have to grab this key from inside the car. If you were to examine the door, it will show you that you have to come to this car anyway, so don't worry about it. I just decided to come to it first. And, you know, in very survival horror fashion, make sure you're always stuck uh, with items that you have everything in reserve. You might have some extra depending on how well you do. So you can always, which is what I do, save before you proceed. Kind of do a test run of the area, get yourself familiarized with everything. And then give it one more try. Because of course, of course, I'm not doing this all in one run, no, 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 no. I would like to be able to, I mean, I remember this game pretty well, but not to the point in which I can say like, oh, I know this game by heart. So what I like to do is that I do up a couple of test runs, I kind of get myself reacquainted with the game, then I do another practice to kind of get everything known, all the locations of the items by memory, so that I already know where everything is. That's why you see me like play so seamless, because I've, I've already done this twice already. <laughs> so, that definitely helps. And of course, that's why I barely take any damage. I know where all the items are. So it's very convenient. There's nothing in this room right now, but... As always, you can always use a telekinesis to check everything in the in all of the air, especially now that you are in your house. Everything that you check, everything that you do is going to reveal a little bit more about your past, about the story of the game, about what's really happening. Uh, you know, if you're interested in that sort of thing. This room is really important though, because... On the other one you can't interact yet, but on this one you're definitely going to need to do something. So uh, try to minimize the, the map because you might not see the button that's here in the back. If you press it, that should be able to drain the tub that's right next to us and grab what's underneath. Uh, this is going to be very important. Again, you can come back to it later. But for, uh, it's, uh, you know, just grab everything that you can along the way. There's no inventory limit for key items, so you can grab as many as you want. It's a little bit annoying because you do have to scroll sometimes all the way to the end of the list to actually use something. But of course, for items, for actual consumables, that, that you do have a limit to, so... Just watch out your inventory space. And this is going to be the first enemy that you encounter, actually. If you remember from the hospital, we encounter these rabbits. Ow. But instead of just jumping around, these ones actually use Nalcon on you, which is the same ability that you have. Uh, and, you know, be careful. Don't Usually don't let them get a hit on you. I recommend that you use red for this area. Hopefully you have a good stack of red from the hospital. Because you shouldn't have used it all that much. Or at least I didn't. Hopefully you didn't either. 
before anything, make sure you grab this painting. This is gonna be useful for a little bit later. It's not mandatory, but you, it, it's, it's useful, so, you know. And it's right there, so, and as I said, key items don't have limitations as to how many you can grab, so... Uh, why not grab it? Since it's already there. And then we have a Delmetor, which I'm using a lot because I'm trying to clear uh, my AP bar completely. I don't want to use short at all on any enemy. It's gonna be all legit. Hardcore fighting with Nalcon or Red. It's the same picture I found on the hospital's computer. That's me in the middle. What's wrong, Riara? Having trouble sleeping? I feel uneasy, but I don't know why. It's as if something really bad is about to happen. So as I mentioned, there's a, a, a lot of little things that you can interact to that tells you a little bit more about the story and what's really going on. I, I personally feel it's really interesting, so you know, it's, it's up to you, of course, what you want to do. I didn't talk about this when it happened, but basically, if you remember when we were at the pool outside, where there were the tire tracks on the ground, you could see this pool table, and that indicates what we need to do. So there's a couple of... Uh, pool balls missing. We're gonna get those in a little bit, but for now it's important to get this, which is going to be a doorknob, and if you remember from at the entrance, there was a doorknob missing, so we're gonna need this definitely, so make sure you grab that. Oh. Yeah, my posh is full. So, it depends on... Technically, you could just do this in one go, and the game does provide you with a lot of items, but do keep in mind that, of course, as a survival horror, you do have a limited amount of items as well. So, I would recommend grab what you need, and then leave the items that are there for now. I think what I'm gonna do is that, because we're almost out of time, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna- wait, we're in the wrong way. I'm gonna save at the end of this hallway, which you can do if you want. And then I'm gonna grab the items off screen. But for now, I think I'm gonna save, and we are making some good progress, actually. I think it might be shorter than the Parasite Eve playthrough, which is, you know, pretty interesting. So, uh, for now, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, enjoy!